Look, why don't we just go home and get some lunch? You might not be hungry, but I am. So we're just going to pretend that you weren't hiding that for Gary, are we? Don't be daft. Why are you keeping secrets for him? I'm not. So what are you going to do with that watch, then? Chuck it in the canal? Because we both know you weren't going to show it to me or the police. Do you know what? I'm not talking to you when you're in this mood. I am going to get some lunch. Oh, no, you're not. You're not going anywhere until you tell me exactly what happened on the day of the accident and every single thing that you know about Gary and Rick Nealon. Dad? Maybe I should go speak to Gary myself. Ask him why you're walking around with a dead man's watch. I told you I'm going to explain that. So Rick is dead, then? I never said... Can you just stop trying to catch me out, please? Fine. Explain. Right, so... Bernie Winter found the watch in the woods and when I saw the inscription, I bought it off her and I confronted Gary with it. On the day of the accident? Yeah. And Gary admitted to killing Rick? No. So what did he say, then? What happened, Sarah? Why did you call the police? Did he hurt you? No, I swear he didn't. You nearly ended up under a car. You nearly died. Yes, I know, but he saved my life and that should be the end of I'm it. I'm your husband. We're not supposed to have any secrets. Right, so if Rick is dead, whose loss is it? Because he terrorised my family. Well, so Gary's allowed to go and kill anyone he doesn't like. No, I never said that. Why are you covering for him? Because if... Because if he did it, it was in self-defence. And it was in defence of me and my family. And I don't think he deserves to go to prison for that. Why don't you tell me about it? What would be the point? Well, just be polite, wouldn't it? To tell your husband that you've voluntarily become an accessory to murder. Shh, can you just keep your voice down? This is why I didn't tell you, because I knew you'd react like this. Well, like a normal human being. I don't think you fully comprehend what you've done. You've lied to the police about murder. You know what's worse? You've lied to me. I knew something dodgy was going on. I was right this whole time about Gary, and all you did was make me feel guilty about pursuing my suspicions. I don't I know. I'm really sorry. Are you still in love with him? What? Are you still in love with Gary? Is that why you're protecting him? We just... We've been through a lot together. I'll take that as a yes. Don't expect me home tonight. Please, wait. Excuse me. Sorry, am I right to put this in there? Yeah, sure, love. 